as far as women's status, they are equal according to the Bible. The man is supposed to lead the woman, but she has equal status. She ha she is just as important. No, no, no. She's still a follower, though, and Sorry. she's still a leader. So technically, he would still be above her. Yeah. <laughs> He is the traditional the traditional family. We have a question from the audience. I just had a real quick question because, well, for people that um, follow, you reference to the Bible. So, in every aspect of your life, do you follow everything that's in there? I'm not perfect. No. There's multiple things that are in there that, you know, if you're using it as it? a reference. Do I believe it? That's it, that's a different question. Do I believe it or do I follow it completely? No, I, I don't follow it lies. completely. Yes, I believe it. So I'm still working on things. I'm still a sinner if that's what you're asking. Right. So you reference to only some things that, you know, go towards your argument to agree with your argument? No. Yeah. I don't even reference against my own sins, the mistakes that I made. I can speak from them and how they have hurt my own life personally and how I've gained strength from overcoming certain sins in my life. So for instance, like having kids out of wedlock, that's supposedly in there as well. Um, you know, that's a sin. So what's the difference between that and them being gay? There isn't. According to the Bible, all sins are equal. God judges them equally, but we have grace. So there's only one person that judges you on that, right? Well, God, God judges us finally, meaning his is the final judgment. But it does say in the Bible that Christians will judge nations, meaning that we are to judge one another. But we're but there's a way to judge, and I think what he means by in the Bible, didn't Jesus didn't say don't judge. I think what he's saying is be careful when you do judge that you're not doing the same thing yourself, that you're not being a hypocrite. Jesus made judgments on people's character all the time. He told the Pharisees what they were doing was wrong. He told other people that what they were doing. But do you wrong. think that he meant by don't judge people unless you're living that straight, narrow, perfect life? But here's the thing: you have no right to say whether or not a person is going to hell or not. Well, I'm not saying that I would, I would ever say that. Um, but I'm saying you make judgments all the time. I don't want to point out something, Laura. It's like impossible not to make judgments. And we are being a dead horse. Laura, so, but Laura, yeah. but Laura has something that she wants to say, and I think. Um, I am, I am a Christian, but I'm also a lesbian, and that is hard to deal with, like, to get everything right in the Bible and everything, but that's who I am, and if God made me this way, then it's kind of contradicting to say that he would send me to hell for something that he created me as. Do you want me to, or is that directed towards me? Or so that is directed towards really anyone that... I think that John's comment a few minutes ago that, that the way the conversation has gotten sidetracked by a fundamental question of right or wrong using Christian privilege as a reference point was probably the, one of the most important things for us to remember here that we were actually that comment came up in response to a question about who has it harder and for whatever reason, all of these debates get shifted to a question of what's right and what's wrong with Christianity as a fundamental basis for that. And that is such a narrow way of looking at this whole argument. Um, sure, it's acceptable for him to have his view, but he cannot say that society views something in a certain way because that's how Christians view it. Society is much more diverse than that. I never said so, that, never will. Uh, well, you said that, that uh, well, that's true. You said most the majority of Christians. But you also said that a majority of Christians don't see either as right or wrong, but the question was never what is right or wrong. They the question was wrong. whose life is more complicated or faced with more adversity in society. Oh, gosh, like, yeah, a yeah. completely yeah. different yeah. issue. And Every time I sit in on debates like this, it gets down to a question of right or wrong, which I don't even think should be part of the debate. Exactly. So you, I just thought I should say that. You. And I think that, that, that becomes part of the debate only the when Christian privilege overruns the debate. Yes. The core of the, of the debate is whether or not that homosexuals are getting the rights that they deserve, should they have them. That's the core of, I think, that's well, we the core of the Bible. debate. It doesn't but what I'm saying, well, I'm giving a different perspective. It's not going to be the same as John. 
it's not going to be the same as... Well, so trying to keep it on, on the open field and not right, having understand. staff get one question, stop bringing in such a controversial topic that it's going to be able to down the narrow hallway. What I believe. The same thing is a controversial concept. I have a reference point. Is this already a controversial point? No, it's bringing in a whole different topic. The only concern I had of his was that your reference point changed the question that was asked. Okay. And that's what actually the problem. Okay, we're going to stop um, talking about this topic. For <laughs> 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 that wasn't my intention. <laughs> <laughs> this is our yeah. time to go to this topic. Um, that reference point um, does change the question. If you have any more questions, uh,